Okay, this is going to be part two of the compound inequalities videos. So we were talking about AND. Uh, I guess I want the black pen. And let's do another example of this. So let's say I have um, x is greater than or equal to 7. And x is less than 5. So let's look at this, this on a number line. Remember, and means I've got to have both of these, what we call conditions. The condition that x is greater than or equal to, to 7 and the condition that x is less than 5. So here's a 0, here's a 5, and here's a 7. Using the red pen for x is greater than or equal to 7. I'll fill in this circle here and go up to positive infinity. For x is less than 5, I'll use an open circle and go down to negative infinity. And remember that AND means I've got to have both of these conditions. In other words, I've got to find places on the number line where I've got both red line and, I'm, I'm sorry, blue line and red line. Now if you look, there are no places. And it makes sense that there are no places because there are no numbers which are greater than 7 and also less than 5. So I can't even write an interval for this. Basically, I can either write something like no solution, because there is no solution to both of these at once, both of these inequalities, or sometimes you will see somebody use this symbol. This is called the empty set symbol. And it means basically the same thing. There's, there's nothing to report, nothing going on. So looking at these two, basically we end up with nothing. Here's a couple more examples using AND and OR. So let's say, let's go back to OR. And let's say we want to have x is greater than negative 3, or x is greater than 1. Let's look at that on a number line. My pens are getting away from me. Here's a 0. I guess I want a negative 3 somewhere like this, and maybe a 1 over here. Okay, so for x is greater than negative 3, I'm starting just past the negative 3, so I've got an open circle, and my arrow is going up towards infinity. And we have or x is greater than 1. Now you remember or means that what I'm looking for is any place where I have either this first condition, the red line, x being greater than negative 3, or the second condition, the blue line, x being greater than 1. Well, I've got the x greater than negative 3 all the way through here. I've also got this area where the x is greater than 1, but if you think about it, I don't even need, I don't need to worry about the blue part because the x, the, the, the red part includes everything that blue has. So this inequality is really the same thing as if I had just written x is greater than negative 3. This x being greater than negative, x greater than 1 doesn't really do anything for me. In writing it as an interval, I'm going to start down at negative 3 round parentheses, and we're going to keep going all the way up to infinity, 
again round parentheses because you don't touch infinity. And if I want to show this on the number line, I'm just going to use the same thing that I have for my red line. I'll just write over that. And that's going to be my graphic solution. Let's look at the same, same thing with an and. Let's find some clean paper. Okay, so I have, this is the red pen. I've got x is greater than negative 3. And x is greater than 1. Okay, the number line, I guess I want that in black. Zero, negative three, and one. And so let's see, x is greater than negative three. That's going to be this. x is greater than one. Let's rewrite that one. That looks awful. Okay. Now remember, for and, it means I have to have both of these conditions. So I have both of the conditions over here to the right of the 1. Down to the left of the negative 3, I don't have anything. To the left of the 1, in here between negative 3 and 1, I only have one condition and I need both. I need to have AND. So the only place I'm dealing with is every place to the right of 1, every place that's more than 1. So my interval notation is going to give me 1 up to infinity and writing this as a single as the graphing solution to it, I'm just going to have this black line, the same as the blue line. So this part, the x greater than negative 3, doesn't really, it's not necessary. I can think of this whole thing as basically equal, equaling x is greater than 1. Okay, and that's about it. So the important things to remember are that when you have the word or, it's going to mean you can use, let's find an example. Okay, When you have the word or, you can use either one of your inequalities, or you can use both of them. When you have the word and, you've got to have both of the inequalities satisfied, both of the conditions satisfied, in order for you to uh, determine the area that you're talking about. Okay, so that's about it for now. Take care. I'll see you next time.